thousands of people gathered here to witness the inauguration. Now, there were the political leaders that you would expect and prominent uh, Oklahomans as well. But what I noticed is the children. There were a lot of parents with young children in the audience today. And tonight, Two Works U reporter Micah Hatfield talks with some of them from Eastern Oklahoma about what they noticed the most. Oklahoma history in the making. One of 28 times a governor has been sworn in in the state. As you can tell by the suit, I like I like going to these sorts of things. And also it was my first election to get to vote in because I just turned 18 in September and registered to vote. So I was pretty excited to see the, the people I voted for got in. Young people were scattered through the crowd, soaking in the sights and sounds of Governor Kevin Stitt's swearing in. The story told about Governor Stitt writing that he wanted to be governor on his goal list, but crossing it off because he thought it was too lofty of a goal and being told that he wouldn't be able to lead the state is a story that really resonated with the young people who are here today. I'm like Kevin Stitt, he's a political outsider. Um, you know, anybody can do this, you can dream big, and I mean, if you work hard and make it happen, then it's definitely something that'll come. Inspiring future leaders to strive for their goals. This may seem too bold for some. Big goals can often feel unattainable. But don't say that to a guy who was told it was impossible to build a nationwide mortgage company with $1,000 in a computer. And don't tell that to a guy who was told that a political outsider couldn't become governor. From young adults to Avon elementary students who have hopes of taking the oath themselves one day. It's real nice. It's my first time ever to be in an inauguration and it's really cool. In Oklahoma City, Micah Hatfield, Two Works For You.